The 62-person Chinese rescue team has been at work in Nepal. They saved one person within hours of arrival, and they found another survivor on Monday. 170 members of the Chinese military rescue and medical teams left Monday for Kathmandu. CCTV's Yang Zhao has the story. After three hours of intensive work, the team finally pulled his first survivor from the wreckage and his transfer to hospital. It's just hours after they arrive in the Nepali capital. This type of situation, an earthquake of this magnitude, is very difficult for rescue. So we have to do it manually with a high level of risk. The Chinese International Rescue Team was the first foreign team to arrive in a quick hit area. They arrived on Sunday carrying advanced detecting, excavating and medical equipment, as well as several sniffer dogs. On Monday, a second 55-member team affiliated with PLA also left for Nepal to help with rescue operations. Another team of 45 soldiers will go on Tuesday. Rescue personnel say there is a high risk of disease. A Chinese government medical team arrived in Nepal on Monday morning to begin its humanitarian mission. It has 58 members from a range of specialist departments. This is the first and largest medical team organized by the Chinese government. Our team covers nearly all the medical specialties and can undertake any medical operations that would take place in a second-tier hospital. We are trained to operate in plateau areas. Our initial plan is to go to Kathmandu, but we may head to other mountainous and high-altitude areas depending on where we are needed. The Chinese government has also promised some 3 million U.S. dollars in humanitarian aid to Nepal. Yang Zhao, CCTV. Rescue teams from New Zealand and South Korea will also be going to the quake zone. Auckland's urban search and rescue team will leave for Kathmandu shortly. The group of 37 includes experts in building collapse recovery, a structural engineer and a medical team. New Zealand has pledged $761,000 to relief efforts. South Korea is also sending a rescue team along with a million dollars in emergency aid.